Hi guys, um, I'm gonna do my February favourites today. I was really excited to shoot this video because I couldn't wait. I love February favourites now and it's like one of my video, one of the videos I always watch on YouTube. So I thought I'd just add my video to that huge collection of February favourites out there. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, get on with it today. Um, this month I haven't picked up any new nail products, which I'm a little bit gutted at because I need to add to my collection. But um, I didn't see anything that I really liked. Actually, no, I did. I picked up something yesterday, but I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm not going to add it to my favourites because I don't really know what it's like. So maybe next month you'll see what I picked up. But anyway, cracking on. Everything that I've bought this month is beauty-related or it's miscellaneous. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> okay, uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, this product that I've used every single day since the beginning of February, I think, just because I bought it right at the beginning of February. So... It's basically the Sleek Brow Kit, which I'm sure a lot of people have already got. Like, it's quite an old product anyway. I've always seen it on the shelf and I've always thought, I'll get it next time, I'll get it next time. And this particular time I saw it and I thought, well, you know, um, I've been looking for sort of a, a brow sort of kit for ages. So I just thought, oh, that's that's good, I'll get this one. Um, I really like Sleek at the moment, but it's pretty decent. I mean, um, I haven't used that much. It just... Is the best um, brow thing I've ever had. I think it's the only brow thing I've ever had, so it's a bit biased. But anyway, um, I really like it. Um, I have to say though, it doesn't last very long, but maybe that's because I don't have a brow gel. So my sort of tip, I don't know if this will work for everyone, but um, I realised that my brows sort of start to get a bit rugged again um, during the middle of the day, especially when I'm going to uni. So before I put on my brows, um, I use a primer and the only thing about using a primer is that it's white it turns my the hair the my eyebrow hairs white so it's not particularly great but it it makes it last longer so I, I guess if you haven't got eyebrow gel you can always go for your eyeshadow primer your basic primer that's what it's meant to do right to keep your makeup in place so that's just a little makeup tip for you I don't know if it'll work for everyone but it works for me so it's cool mm, yeah so next product this is one of those products that a lot of people were sort of talking about on YouTube again I heard a little rant about how many times I've watched YouTube and bought products just because of YouTubers. So, yeah, I sort of was one of those people. Um, and this product that I've bought is basically the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation or Concealer. And it looks like this. Um, and it's, I don't, yeah, really, I don't know. You know, at first I didn't like it. Um, I don't know, this, this tone's a bit dark for my skin, to be honest. Like, oh, I've just rubbed it in. Yeah, look, you can see it clearly. I, I don't know if I meant to swatch there, but anyway, you can see it. But um, yeah, I put it on my skin and I thought, oh no, like that won't do. But um, I don't know, like maybe it was the way I applied it first time and I started to like it. My skin's getting darker. I think it's because the sun's coming out more often. I don't know why, but my skin feels like it's darker than what it was at the beginning of February. Um, so it's starting to fit me, which is good. Um, apparently, I watched the video and somebody said that the UK Fit Me concealers are much darker than the US ones, which I sort of thought as well. I saw the video and the girl in it was American and she basically held up the same concealer that I've got and it was much lighter. So I kind of think, oh, you know, the UK one's very dark compared to what she had. So I'm a little bit sort of like, mm, wish I was in America right now. But yeah, it's, it's a good foundation. Oh, sorry, concealer. It was about... $7.99, $8.99. So, um, I just wanted to try that to see what it was like. It's okay. Um, it, it covers, I suppose. I do prefer it over my MAC Studio Fix right now, actually. So that's a big, that's a good one because it's a drugstore. But yeah, um, I liked that. The next product um, is one that I sort of added at the last minute because I thought, you know, why not talk about this? Um, this is an e.l.f. product and it's the waterproof eyeliner pen, which looks like that. And it's just basically sort of the felt tip um, it's got a felt tip basically but um, I added this at the end because I thought well it was giving me a bit of grief but oh look it's leaking um, it, it's leaking right now but it was giving me grief when I first got it and I thought well crap it was just it wasn't very good at all but um, I think I'm commending it today because I found it on the floor a minute ago and it was uncapped and I think the last time I used it was about three weeks two weeks ago and it's been uncapped since two weeks ago so I thought oh in the bin you know um so it wasn't working at first and I shook it a bit and then it started to work so I was a bit like oh you know okay because I thought that most felt tip um eyeliners once you leave it out for like two weeks it's gone bam you know you can't use it anymore that's what I thought and yeah I 
commend it for that, I suppose. I mean, it, Elf products are cheap. I'm sure everybody knows that Elf is a really, really cheap brand. It was about £3, so again, you can't expect much of it. I mean, it does the job. Again, it's one of those things that um, is a bit of a makeup essential, especially, um, I guess, when you can't be able to do everything else. I have been putting on eyeliner this month. I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing a bit of eyeliner today. So, yeah, it's one of those things I just sort of quickly put on before I go to school. Um, yeah, inexpensive, and it does the job. So another one that was a bit of a favourite. Okay, so moving on to uh, like other beauty stuff, not to do with like makeup or anything like that, other beauty things. Okay, so these next two products I use together um, and the first one I'm going to talk about is, um, it's the Neutrogena um, Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit, Day Pink Grapefruit Daily Scrub. Um, it says it's new and this is because this one is a daily one and the other one wasn't. Who knows? Um, and it basically helps eliminate spots and blemishes with a fresh, clean feel. Um, it's got a really nice smell. It smells, oh, like grapefruit, obviously. <laughs> Don't know why I just did that because you can't smell it. But anyway, um, this one, this product has been around for a long time. Neutrogena. I think um, a lot of people said it's good, and I always have looked at it on the shelf and thought, mm, four pounds, no, like five pound, no, it's not worth it. But I think if you looked at my last favourites, you would have seen that I was using this a product from Dermalogica from a glossy box, and I did put in a little caption at the bottom how it broke my skin out bad. The next morning I woke up and my skin was awful. I just it was there was scarring, it, it was just horrible, and I just thought no. So I needed a product to quickly um, replenish my skin and uh, obviously to eliminate the spots and blemishes I was getting. I was getting a bad breakout, and I just thought I need something quick. So I saw this in the shop and I thought let's give it a go. So um, since then I've been using it every single day, and. I don't know, like, I think it's doing a quite a good job. My skin feels healthier. It looks brighter. Sorry, not shiny. Yeah, well, it, I don't know. Like, I had so much scarring, especially on my forehead. Like, you can't really see it, but it was just scarred and there was just ugly, fat spots. It was horrible. Um, and this really cleared it up. So, I really, yeah, this is a really good product. I've, if, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got, it's, it's there now. So, I've used that much in a month. It was supposed to just be a tester anyway, I wasn't going to like continue using it if it was rubbish, but I think I'll definitely repurchase that. Um, that will probably be part of my beauty uh, regime for a long time until I find something else. So that was really good. Okay, so the next product is another, oh, this is definitely an old product. This is Bio, um, bio Oil, which I'm sure a lot of people have already bought. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a sort of um, oil that is um, tar that targets scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, dehydrated skin, blah blah blah. It's basically a specialist skincare treatment. Um, so again, I think this was on um, sale somewhere. It was about ten hmm, nine pounds for this. I don't. I think it's about fourteen pounds. So I think I saved about five pounds, which I was. No, that's cool. So I got them to send it to me. Um, I've used that much in a month. You can see it's not a lot actually. So I'm really surprised. I mean, you don't really need a lot. It's quite. It is quite. It does feel greasy, but it, it really. Um, it's. I think it's really good. Um, so I got carried away one time and I thought, oh, there's a spot. So I rubbed it into this scar and I thought, oh, there's one there and there's one there and then all over, sort of rubbing it everywhere. And it's just good for sort of um, moisturising the skin, especially when I take a bath in the morning or shower. I put it on straight after and it just sort of replenishes my skin. I think this new product, the only thing I can say about it is that it does make my skin a little bit dry. I think I have combination skins, so that's probably why, especially my T zone gets, no, not my T zone, sorry, my cheeks. I have uh, dry cheeks, so this dries out my cheeks. When I put this on, it sort of replenishes it a little bit. So I kind of got like this, I use both of them together. Um, because it, it just works well together basically. So yeah, that's to look at my time. Um, next product, oh, this is, okay, I have <laughs> been, uh, you know, um, as you are a student, sometimes I don't have time to do everything. So um, I've sort of been neglecting my hair. Um, I won't go into it because you don't need to know everything, but <laughs> anyway, my hair's been neglected, let's just say that. Um, and I just sort of um, thought, oh, I need something just to spruce it up to make it smell nicer and, um, yeah, and uh, I just saw this in the, on the shelf. Um, this is a dry shampoo. I don't know how you say the name, whatever. Um, I liked this because of the smell. It's the blush one, and <clears throat> it's just a, it is a good refresher. At first, I kind of thought if it would work on my hair type because I don't know. It says it works for all hair types, but I was I'm skeptical about that kind of stuff. I was like, mm, well, I don't want you to sort of I don't want it to spray on my my roots and dry my hair out. I don't know but it, it's okay you know it freshens up the hair as it says it does um and it just is one of those things that's a go-to basically when I'm just having a bit of a bad hair day yeah um next product is mm, this 
So I'm gonna do this. This <laughs> this is what's left of my candle. That's much. It is a sample candle, so that's probably why. Um, but it's a this is actually Kringle. Sorry, the wrapper's come off. It's the watermelon one, and I got this from a Yankee candle store about uh, three weeks ago because I just wanted um, some new scents for my room because I was getting used to the old one. So I sort of saw this, and again, this is a YouTube inspired by because I saw. Uh, gosh, fashion rocks my socks. Rihanna, I think. I don't remember what one she had, but I really like this. It's just really nice, fruity and fresh. Um, as you can see, that it's almost gone. So I've burnt this for the last 10 days. It doesn't last very long because it is a sample. So I probably will repurchase this in a bigger size. And I also bought um, black coconut um, from Yankee Candle. I have yet to use that. So um, I'm excited about that one because that smells great too. Um, okay, so next product is this cuff here which I bought on eBay, um, it was from Hong Kong or something, it's just the eBay find basically, um, it's just a, one of those basic jewellery essentials I think, I've never had a cuff before so this is the first one, it's not, I've actually broken it on purpose because my wrist is quite thin but come on, like you can't get that, it, it was chained so um, I couldn't even get my hand in there, like it's just ridiculous, so I had to break it to put it on so this is how I put it on. So yeah, it's, it's just a, a cuff, you know. It reflects the sun. I love jewellery that reflects the sun. Um, yeah, that's just sort of my thing. So yeah, love that one. A song from my iPod. Um, this song is by um, someone called Auburn and it's called My Baby. And that's what the cover art looks like. Um, I love this song because it's so sweet and um, obviously it's Valentine's, it was va it was Valentine's month this month um, and I think everyone's just getting in the sort of lovey-dovey mood um, and I saw this song and um, I think it is like a new release and I saw it on iTunes and decided to buy it and I just really like it, I like the, um, the lyrics and I really love her shirt in the video. The, if you watch it it's the peach shirt with like triangles on it or something it's like short sleeve up to here and I really want to know where it's from so if anyone knows can you tell me because I really like it so yeah okay I forgot one thing actually it's because I am wearing it all right so this is one of my favorites of the month I'll stand up so you can see and it's basically these these are from Primark oh sorry you can't hear me anymore <laughs> These are from Primark and um, they're just a pair of tracksuit bottoms that I've been uh, wearing for the past, um, yeah, couple of weeks. <laughs> obviously, with washing, obviously. <laughs> I love the colour. <laughs> um, this is like one of my, this is one of my new favourite colours, I think. I have a pair of Converse's, which I just sort of randomly saw, that are like similar. So, I don't know if you can see a match sort of I like this blue turquoise sort of aqua colour right now I'm wearing these keep my legs so warm so yeah well, Primark's like my best friend right now as well okay so I just had a delivery and I had to run downstairs and then I sort of remembered I forgot something else so here we go I promise this is the last thing okay so February cannot be February without a pair of winter boots um, and um, I just really love these boots. I think every single day in February I've worn these boots. So these boots have been my, like, my, 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 my everything, basically. <laughs> so, um, I bought these boots. These, oh, again, they're from Primark. And they look like this. I bought these boots in August. Um, last year August when I was in London and I saw them on the shelf and I thought oh they're really nice I love them and um, I just picked them up because I thought oh well winter's coming I'm gonna need a pair of boots so then I sort of left it on my dad's for ages and I was really worried about it when I went back to uni and then in like December time I needed them because it's starting to get cold so I went back to my dad's and I was like oh, I want my boots I want my boots so he had put it in a shed obviously I wasn't very happy with that but you know oh, well that's what dads do you know just chuck it anywhere they don't really care so he gave me back my boots and I was really happy and I'm so glad I made the investment of to be honest it's not really an investment it was 15 quid I mean that's pretty good I've worn my boots every single day i'm not even joking like apart from the days when it snowed i've worn these boots every day you can see that the heel is wearing but for 15 pounds it's worth it so quickly give a, a close-up it just looks like that i love the sort of brogue styling of it where it's got the piping um so it's really a man's shoe i like the man i like boots that look like brogues i like the buckling and all this stuff here and it laces up the only annoying thing is the laces like it just takes forever to lace up and it's got the pattern on the inside i just love that boot i mean it's not warm but i just i love oh, i just love everything about it 
I'm so sad. I wish I bought like three pairs of these because I'm going to be sad when I have to throw it away because I think that by the time it gets to next winter, this boot will probably be really like scruffy. Already it looks really scruffy. I've been everywhere with these boots. Um, so I'm really sad and I wish I bought loads because it's definitely worth the investment. So yeah, I really love these boots and that is definitely a February favourite of mine. Okay, I'm really going to go now. I think that is definitely, 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 definitely it. If not, then you'll see another clip. But yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys.